Right, need that paragraph Mishnah Yud Bet. So until now, we're talking about the Shtei Se'arot, these two pubic hairs that are either a male or a female has to demonstrate. So the question is, how long, what's considered a mature hair? What's considered a hair for the purpose of Yisalachot? So it says the Mishnah, Shtei Se'arot to Amurot. These two, the, the two Se'arot that we talk about, not only for, uh, for a maturity, but Bipara, Bipara Aduma. The Torah says that, for, uh, that in order to use a para aduma for mechatat, for purification, it has to be totally pure. If it has two black hairs, gone. So how about these two hairs? Well, how much of a hair? Ubin negaim. If you recall from our study of a second negaim, very often you have two white hairs in an area, in an area of skin, a patch of, you can't see a patch of skin. Okay? So it has to have two white hairs. How long are the white hairs are? And that, that are mentioned, that are discussed in all areas when we say, when we say, like, you know, what makes a child now an adult? What are these? So how long must these hairs be? So we have three opinions. It has to be long enough that you can lakuf, you can fold over, right, the head to touch the root. Divir Rabbi Shmael. So Rabbi Shmael says it has to be foldable. Rabbi Elazar Omer, Rabbi Elazar Omer, likrotz b'tziporen. Enough, it has to be long enough, likrotz, le'echoz me'at. To grab onto bitsipurin in your with your nails. To, to grab on with your nails. Rabbi Akiva Omer, Rabbi Akiva says, Kidei Shiuni Talot Bazug. They have to be long enough that you can cut them bazug with a bazug there's a pair, i.e. with a zug shamisparayim, with a pair of scissors. And the Bartinura says, Bahavi Shiu Rabba. So the which is the longest one is Rabbi Akiva who says, Rabbi Akiva who says the it's the longest is to, to cut it, to take it with a, to cut it with a zug with a pair of scissors. And then the medium one is grab onto, and then the shortest one is to bend over. Which is really interesting. Okay, the, the Rambam actually says the exact opposite. If you look at the Rambam, the Rambam says, uh, Right, the, the cutting of the hairs is the shortest one, the Rambam says, and the middle one is grabbing onto, and then the longest one is being able to fold over. You can decide which one you feel is more likely. The Bartidurus is the following, though. We follow all of them to be machmir, meaning... So he says when, when you when you have the smallest one, which is according to the Bartanura, right? When that uh, zuta. Oh, the course he says the shortest one. Excuse me, is the is the grabbable one. Then we and say, okay, maybe she's an adult. Once it's grabbable, once you can grab onto a hair, right? Like even a tiny amount, then maybe she has two hairs. She's a gadola. But ulinyan chalitza. So you say, but is she an adult now? Her husband dies. Just do chalitza. Then you have to wait until she gets to the longest one, which he felt was the which he felt was the the scissors. All right, so you can make a little chart of who holds what. We'll stop here and dedicate our learning to memory of my father, Rav Simchat Ben Yitzchak Kalman. Have a great day. Make it a great day.